Alright, what's up everybody? We're back again with a quick fix to a common problem I'm seeing more and more. Have you ever had a sentry mode event that you wanted to view, but it was somehow corrupted? Well, if one file is corrupt, the chances many files are corrupt. And there are many reasons that this can happen, but here's the two most common reasons why your USB drive got corrupted and you were unable to view the events. Since Tesla has released Sentry Mode, it has been a real game changer. It's been making headlines, it's been making the news constantly, it's been helping insurance claims, it's been helping police departments determine who's at fault. It's making our cars safer, and it's making the cars next to us safer by watching them too. Recording accidents, recording license plates, and the completely shocked faces of the guilty parties. And it's all just showing another step of why Tesla cars are so far ahead of other car companies. So of course you'd want to keep your sentry mode and your dash cam working and keep all those files from being corrupted. There are a few reasons that your files on your USB would become corrupt. Before I get into it, I'd just like to mention that in the recent updates, Tesla has updated its codec. The codec is what it uses to play back the video files. It's now using the HEVC H265, which is a very high quality codec. So you should also need to update your Sentry Viewer app, and that just might be what's causing your problems. It might not be corrupt files in the first place. But if you've done this, and your files are still corrupt, here's how you fix it. The first common way that files become corrupt is during a Tesla software update. Tesla is constantly changing things, and it could affect future files, past files, current files, or it could just be a codec change like they did recently. All of these will affect your files in different ways. You can remove your USB drive before the update, or you can verify it's working after the update. A gray X will appear on your screen if the drive is full, corrupt, too slow, or has any problems. If the drive is not the right format, which is FAT32, FAT32, it won't show up at all. You can format a larger than 64 gigabyte USB drive to FAT32. You just have to download a special program to do it. Windows 10 doesn't let you do it by default. The second way is to not properly eject your USB drive from your Tesla or your PC or anything for that matter by holding down the icon on the screen for the Tesla. Once you have corrupt files, you can plug it into a Windows PC. Windows might offer to repair your corrupt files right when you plug the USB drive in. The option might pop up. If there's something useful you really want, you try to recover it. But a more common fix these days is to purchase an SD to USB adapter and record your Sentry Mode files on a large, properly formatted SD card with very few limitations. We'll cover this more in our next video. It's a very cheap and very easy fix. That's just the way we like it. Make sure you have plenty of space on your USB drive and of course copy any valuable files. Teslas are always watching. Tap to record. Thanks for watching Tips for Tesla. We're amped about the future.